Okay, I think we have one more coming. Okay, yay! Get your hands all clean. Hi, lady! Get your hands all clean and then come on. I bet you can find your name, Riley. Okay, guys. I'm so glad you're all here today for our instrument day. This is going to be awesome. Good job, Stormy. Good job. You got nice clean hands now. You're awesome. We are so glad you're here today. And I think we better say hello to our friends. Are we ready? Everybody say hello, say hello, say hello. Everybody say hello, just like me. Today I have two friends with me, and one friend is Jess. Do you want to take off your mask and say hi so you see your face? Hello. This is Jess, and he is my son. I am his mom. I'm Jess's mom, and now he's big. But he used to be little, and he used to be in music class. And now he plays lots of instruments. And my other friend is Simone, and she brought her violin today. And Simone is my friend, and she teaches music, and she's a really good violin teacher. So we get to hear both of them today. But the first thing we're going to do is we are going to listen to one of the instruments play first. Oh, and I brought my instrument, too. Do you recognize this instrument? Do you know what one this is? Yeah. If you guys want to turn to page 19, just like almost the whole lesson, we're going to be talking about all those instruments. Do you need a book? If I'm occupied at the moment. Okay, can everybody close their eyes? Or you can put your book in front of your face and listen to who is going to play our song. Shh, listen. Did you hear? Did you hear the violin? Point on your page to the viola. The viola is in the same family as the violin. Do they look alike? Can you see very well? Oh, fine. Yeah, come on out here, Simi. Can you see very well? Can you see that violin? That's a violin. Simi, will you show us how the violin works? Sure. 
Okay, so the violin has strings. It has these four strings. And then when I, I'm gonna take this string. And then when I use my bow, the hair brushes on the strings and that's what makes the sound. Okay. And then when I add my fingers, it changes different notes like this. your sticks and pretend you're playing the violin with Simmy. We can hold our one like this and put your chin on it just like Simmy is. Can you hold it? It'll work better when you're small like them. And then get the other one. Use your bow. And use your bow like this. Are we ready to pretend to play the violin? Here we go with Simmy. Sorry. Okay, now, can you turn to page 10? Do you know what song Simi was playing? Turn to page 10 and see if you can see what song that was. Was it Fall's it? Fall is here? Slightly different rhythm, Simi. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll play that one. Ready? Here we go. Fall is here. Fall is here. Birds and flowers disappear. That was good pointing. You could play this song with her, huh? Okay, now we are going to get your ribbon ones, and Jess is going to play the piano, and Simi will play the violin, and we get to sing Lavender's Blue and dance around with them. Okay? Everyone get your ribbon wand. I got no pedal. Sure, there is. Sorry, no pedal, guys. It would be slightly less musical. Okay, here we go. Can you close your eyes? Close. Everyone say goodbye to Simmy. She's going to go back to work. Thank you, Simmy. Thanks for having me. Bye. Okay, everyone, close your eyes. Let me see which instrument is going to play. Listen, listen. What was it? Did you hear the recording? That's what I played. It looks just like the one in your book. What family is the recorder in? Can you turn it over and see what family it's in? It's in the woodwind family. Did you see me have to blow? Watch me blow. Okay. 
and I'm going to play a song for you. See if you know this song. Ready? Oh, my kids are very excited to hear me play this. Can you tell what song this is? what the song was this is the way we wash our hair that's the song can you get out your sticks and jess is going to play it on the piano for us and we get to pretend we're getting ready in the morning okay with our sticks everyone get your sticks out what should we do first in the morning with our sticks should we brush our teeth <laughs> Brush our teeth, brush our teeth, brush our teeth. This is the way we brush our teeth so early in the morning. What should we do next to get ready? Anyone have an idea? Brush our hair? This is the way we brush our hair. Who's going to play next on our instrument? Ready? Who's it going to be? Listen carefully. What was that? <laughs> was that the drum kit? Do you see the drum kit picture? Jess, will you show us? I'm going to actually, I'm going to review the story for you. It's a little hard. Can you show for us? Okay. Can you see the bass drum? Moms, can you show them the biggest drum? And Jess is gonna play the bass drum really loud four times. Do you hear that big loud bass drum? Ooh, that's a big bass drum. Can you point to the bass drum on your picture, did you book? That's a good, I'm so glad you said that. Can you turn it around any kind of way? Okay, that is, Jess, tell us about that. Yeah, so this is a little pedal. You put your foot right here like this, and you hit it, and when you hit it, this little beater comes up and hits this side of the drum. Isn't that fun? Okay, so Jess is playing the bass drum with his foot. Isn't that a cool thing? Okay, can everyone point to the snare on your drum kit? The snare looks like this. Can you play the snare? That's the snare. Can you play one of the tongs for us? There's two on top and there's one on the side. Those are the tongs. And now we place the crash cymbal. You see the crash cymbal? Play the crash cymbal again. Have you played our finger cymbals before? Do they look kind of like the crash cymbal? Is Jess playing wind to play, play his drums? Is he blowing? What's he doing to make him sound? He's hitting him, huh? Or kicking him, that's so cool. Okay, what we get to do with Jess is, we're gonna go to the zoo. And you can get out your tambourine and your sticks and your... So Jess, 
and we are going to play with Jeff while he plays Go Into the Zoo. He's going to play nice and loud so you can really hear the drums over the TV. No, I don't want to play nice and loud. And so if you don't play <laughs> nice and loud, you can do this so you don't hear it quite as loud. Okay? And maybe it won't be super loud. I don't know. I just know I want them to hear that over this. You know what I mean? Oh, we got to turn that. Okay, so I'm going to play yet. Don't play yet. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Sax song. And what's really funny is I haven't played my saxophone for a long time. So I did pull it out last night, but I thought it would be first to just show you. Saxophones, they come in all different sizes. There's little ones, there's they sopranos, tenors, and baritones all of them. And I played them all when I was in college and high school. But it's been a few years, but I can I did pull it out and see if I can do it. So I thought it would be fun just to show you at first when you come in. You know what's really cool too? This is a fun one because when I was younger, I got to go travel with it. One thing, if you ever play musical instrument, there's you can perform all over. And these are some of the places I got to perform. Really cool. cool. <laughs> um, but this is what a saxophone looks like. That's not crazy. There's lots of stuff to a saxophone. You can look. So I'll put it down here. So that's what this is a tenor saxophone. And every saxophone has, first of all, a big, huge stuff. Whoa. Crazy. And it has to have a strap because you put it around your tail. And your tail. And your tail. And your tail. And so that's what it looks like. But look at all the keys. See all these? This is where you touch instruments. All the instruments you're playing, these are where you have to put all this stuff down to play it. It's kind of crazy. And then there's one big, huge piece that goes on the top. And then you nail it down. So that's. That's what an instrument, that's what the saxophone looks like. There are a lot of different instruments. These play in different keys, like you guys, all the different things, they're all in different keys. This is B flat. But then you have to have, this is the part of the craziest thing about the saxophone. So you have to have a reed. What is the reed made out of? It's made out of wood. Wood. So this it's is a wood reed. Wind. And then this is crazy, but then you have to suck on it. <laughs> <laughs> Can everyone pretend to suck on a reed? Yeah. And they come in boxes. Or they come in. All these are little reeds for different instruments, like a, a clarinet or a 
alto saxophone or how long did you have to replace your beads? Well, the good and the bad, you can keep them forever unless you do one thing. And that's if you hit it, it's done. Because this will break. That's, see how little that is? This could break really easy. And that's probably the worst thing about these instruments. Moms and dads. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> is you have my to spend clarinet read, I probably replaced every month. <laughs> thousands of dollars probably over the years playing. playing. Uh, that's probably when I this one was a dollar and it's probably 30 years ago. I bet you they're two or two bucks, two fifty a read. So if you play a, if you a horn, but if you play a horn like a, a brass instrument, they come with a mouthpiece that you never. Well, I guess they do. They them too. <laughs> but they're awesome. It's going to be kind of loud, but I'll try to play it. That's what she said. It's a good laugh because when I play it, what's going to happen is this, this mouthpiece and that reed are going to vibrate so fast. And that's what starts playing, playing some of this stuff. And then based on the music, that's the, the air that goes through here is going to create this song. I don't know if Carly asked you to play this song. We'd like to play that first. Whatever, whatever you want. No question. <laughs> Saxophones are lower than the alto, which are there. So sometimes the first one is a little bit harder because I got to push more air. I have to push lots of air. Ooh, he used to blow high. <laughs> and it goes from low together and Jess is going to come play Jingle Bells for us and you can play your Jingle Bells. Okay. Um, just 
just the chorus, like you can. Do you all know how to sing Jingle Bells? I know how to sing Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one foot go and play. Hey! Thank you. 
in my Kintsugi class. You should do it again, huh? I have something else for you, too. Okay, I have for you. Actually, Ethel Edna told me she wanted to give you a present today before she leaves. So she said, she's awake. She's awake. Yep. Okay, cool. Great. You're you're good. Bye.